Hey everybody and welcome back. This time we're going with an anime I know nothing about. It's on my suggested view page. This one is Inuyasha. And I've got six openings. Hopefully they're in the right order. <laughs> I just don't know. But this is Inuyasha. If you're a fan of it, let me know down in the comments if you've watched it, if you've seen it numerous times, or if you're like me and it's your first time checking it out, let me know if you go on to watch this. But all those little details like when it came out, if you know it, let me know in the comments. But let's dive into these openings, see what we're going to get. Do this. I want to oh. I recognize the song. I recognize the song. Have you requested this on a live stream sometime? Wow, look at this. It looks samurai based, but are we right in saying that? It's gotta be old school. Like, I'm gonna guess like 90s. I'm going to guess night is purely based on the colors and the music, the music editing is in specific, uh, specifically. A boomerang, <laughs> got a boomerang weapon. Look at that. So we've obviously got different creatures, you know, they're not just all human. Oh, the spirits. I recognize that opening because I remember this must have been in one of our top 100s because I remember shouting this Pidgeotto. <laughs> I remember. That would explain why I not recognize the song, you know? Wow, look at that, man. So who is the main character? Is it is it the character in the red or the character or, or her? That's so cool. <laughs> Scratch, holds up. It's interesting that because I got a lot of the kind of Pokemon style ideas when I was looking at those characters and it explains why I've seen opening one when we've checked out like top 100s and stuff look at the size of that sword man I love it when they got oversized weapons I just think it's brilliant yeah this has got to be like 90s so it's got to be released in the 90s It feels like the same sort of era as maybe, no, I was going to say Sailor Moon, but no, it feels, no. <laughs> look at him with the staff. The characters look so much fun. He's got to be evil. She looks cool. Oof. Bring on the fights. Look at this. It's gonna have some epic fight scenes. That that's a given. Oh, well, I'm feeling that anyway. Ooh, serious power on her as well. Love the idea of a boomerang being this giant weapon, you know. Back to the, the flea again. It must always end with that. We've had two with that ending. So much fun, man. Right, this one is opening three. I think I've had them all in the right order. Oh. That was loud. <laughs> it was loud. Let me know if you've watched this, who your favorite character is. Just point to the one with the arrow, the one with the boomerang, the, the one with the oversized sword, you know? <laughs> this giant spinning top. What is going on? Oh, 
If you are a watcher of this channel, you know why I'm nodding at that part. Because I love to see that there's a, a calmness and a backstory that isn't just full on all the time. And that scene did give me that. And I'm guessing obviously the scenes of a flying through space are just part of the opening. Wouldn't be part of the anime, I don't think. Seriously powerful, man. Seriously powerful. Look at that. Like a two-headed snake slash horse thing. <laughs> the imagination is there with this. The imagination is there with this 100%. Now, if you made it this far, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you're halfway through and you must be enjoying it. We have many more reactions to openings, episodes, and so much more. But this anime, Inuyasha, what do we think so far? It's got an incredible imagination to it. The characters are brilliantly designed. I'm loving the visuals on it. That is 100% hands down a thing. The music, you know, it's, it's nostalgic. You know, it's got a nostalgic kind of vibe around it. Definitely feel like it's 90s. As far as storylines concerned, I'm not picking up what it might be. Maybe it's an explorer type um, anime where they, they're out seeing the world maybe and the, the group gets bigger as we go on and we discover these new creatures and animals and whatever you know it's it's definitely got that vibe to it but apart from that not sure yet we still got three openings left translate for me down in the comments that is brilliant. It felt very much their mission statement. Maybe it was an introduction to the characters we were seeing there. I don't know. But it felt a mission statement there. They're yeah, definitely a group. I <laughs> love these scenes, man. Wow. Definitely visiting new places around the world. That would explain why each character looks so culturally different, you know? <laughs> Giant! There's more new characters! What's that? Wolverine dude! <laughs> more oversized swords. Are the enemies already just sparring? Could be a thing. I feel like they are combined. Those two are our main characters in this. So pretty, isn't it? Like the colors that they've used in this are incredibly beautiful. And the fun to the animation style. Like this cat, you know, like the imagery on it is so, um, fun is probably the best way to describe it. You know, like color burst, like high impact color, really fabulously fine detail to the characters that I am loving. And we've gotten these massive fight scenes with these amazing powers, these huge serpent with this tiger that can fly or whatever it is, you know, <laughs> let's get into opening five, the last two openings. Let's see what we're getting from it. Last one, no, this one also doesn't have subtitles. It's a Tokyo there. So they're the group. I smile there because I like seeing the, the human element, the, the family, the, the emotion parts. Tunes on this are next level. 
I haven't seen this and I feel nostalgic, you know? Whoosh. I love the design difference because each character is 100% individual. <laughs> that looked like a skeleton phoenix. Whoa! He's gotta be the bad guy. You see the stuff he was throwing at the man? So does that cat, can it like become smaller and get bigger as well? Because it looks huge there and then in the towards the end of the opening is always this tiny cat, you know? The craziness at the end of the openings is brilliant. That's the thing, like that cat on the floating ball thing with a face, is it able to like morph bigger? And become its bigger self or is it just showing like a younger version of it that we see earlier in the anime maybe this one is opening six this is the last one if you made this far make sure you smash subscribe chuck some suggestions down in the comments this has been an experience and inuyasha is definitely that first opening i have watched in one of the like one of the top 100s or something like that that we've checked out together but this has been an experience it doesn't really tell me much more i'm going to go with it's an exploring anime where we go through different countries, we meet different people, and we have battles and fun and everything along the way. Opening six. <laughs> Does this one have subtitles? No. Tatakai! No, that is. We're fighting. So. Tatakai! I'm just listening for the for the odd word that I recognize. I would love to know what that. Drop that in the comments below. What the translation of that opening is, even just like a short description of what they're telling me, because there's definitely a fight in this. We've seen that in the imagery. <laughs> I love how he's got the, the, the blade sheath there, but when it comes out, it's this massive blade, you know what I mean? Wow, we're seeing a different side of him there with the red eyes. So the blade must be different at different points because it was huge before and it was smaller there. <laughs> Obviously arch enemy. It's got to be the arch enemy. There's a beauty in this. There is a beauty in the design of this anime. Look at that animal, man. That's the snake slash horse thing, right? It's absolutely got this, like, what's the words? The imagination in this is huge because the animal difference, the people difference, the, you're going to see that different cultural differences, even just down to what they were wearing, you were able to see that, you know? So we're out exploring, seeing the world, but we have one arch enemy because he was throwing some demon looking things at them, man. So one arch enemy style thing that was definitely getting some major fights on the go. But other than that, I didn't really get much other than the storyline. It may just be as simple as that. It might not be. Let me know some more things down in the comments below. And if you made this far, smash that subscribe button. If you want to watch any of our anime reactions unedited and in full, the link for Patreon is in the description and it hugely helps out the channel. Much love. Let's do this.